Hello, my friends, and welcome to MB Shoe Dive, where we discuss all things shoes. We will be covering the art of patina and shine and learn to breathe new life into old shoes. So grab your dyes and polishes and get ready to get your hands dirty. And let's dive right into today's project. Another pair, this is my third pair now of TLB Mallorca. This time I used their uh, MTO service, so I designed my own pair. So it's on an Allen Last and it's in the Burgundy Museum. So again, I used their uh, made to order tool and created this. So let's have a look. I'm very excited about these. The box arrived in great shape as it has the last uh, few times. Nice sturdy box. I do appreciate that they have each shoe individually in its own shoe bag. A nice touch to have that. So let's get both of these out. But yeah, this is looking beautiful already. Alright, so let's take a look at this shoe. So again, this is the Burgundy Museum calf. So there's going to be some slightly lighter and darker areas uh, throughout. The leather um, gives it more of an interesting look than just a pure burgundy. Nice rounded toe shape here. And these are again Goodyear welted, made in Spain. Um, they have a real high stitch density on the uppers as well as on the sole. I decided to go with the City Rubber Sole. And yeah, this will be something I have not tried yet. It still has a slightly uh, beveled waist to it, um, but just something that will give a little bit more year-round uh, traction in the wet and maybe a little bit better uh, service in, in the winter time. I wanted to try it. Still a very thin and, uh, you know, quite beautifully thin uh, sole here. So it really looks nice. Doesn't take away from the look. Sometimes the rubber sole can be kind of bulky, but, you know, this looks just as slim as their leather sole offerings. Always impressed with how uh, trim the heel is. So. They really keep the leather uppers and this heel block, um, you know, really tight and slim. Looks uh, quite beautiful there. Take a look at the other shoe here as well. Again, I think this uh, rubber sole really will last uh, quite well. Um, these do have a, a pretty trim waist on them. Not quite as slim as their Artista line. So this was not one of the Artista lasts. Uh, but still quite slim here in the waist with a nice bevel to it. I really like the cap length here, the length of the toe cap. Um, sometimes toe caps can be a little too short and it just doesn't uh, look right. It makes the, the toes look kind of, I don't know, frumpy. Um, if they're too long, then you get a lot of creasing in front of the toe cap. So this is a really nice length. I think it's perfect. Um, it really suits the, the shoe well. Um, they just do a great job, just a really good design on these. So I'll let you see it one more time. I think a, an absolutely beautiful double monk. Now I will say this uh, museum calf doesn't have quite as much variation as other uh, museum leathers that I've seen in the past. So it's a little bit more subtle. It looks a little bit um, uh, kind of more monochrome or more symmetrical throughout. But I do get a few little highlights and lowlights throughout. But it's not quite as bold as their brown museum calf that I have already. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of shine work on these next. I've decided to give these the pure polish treatment. So starting with the pure polish cleaner conditioner love uh, this product being all natural has a nice citrus smell uh, and really performs excellent too now do you need to 
condition your brand new pair of shoes, you know, really probably you don't have to. Um, you know, these have not been sitting in a in a warehouse or anything like that. You know, they were made fairly uh, recently for me. You know, it was a, a special order, so it's not like it was sitting around. But, you know, sometimes when you order a pair, you know, maybe it has been sitting on a shelf, um, you know, unsold for a long period of time, in which case, you know, the leather could be dried out. So I do like to, uh, with every new pair, go ahead and just condition the leather. You know, it certainly could be overkill, and that's, uh, I'm okay with that. Totally fine. You know, with this, a little bit goes a long way, so I'm just really kind of dipping my fingertip into the cleaner conditioner, and, and it spreads around pretty well over the shoe, so I only dipped back into it a couple times. It coats very well. So again, we're going to let that sit a minute, let that absorb, and then we'll brush them off and add a little bit more of a high shine to it. All right, so we let these sit for a few minutes. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of high shine wax here. Again, just applying it by hand, getting a little bit on my fingertips here. We'll rub this around just on the toe and heel area, so I'm not really looking to add a high shine to the entire shoe. Just gonna get a, a high shine on the toe caps here. And because I've not worn them, I don't know exactly where it's going to crease. So I don't want to try to get a mirror shine all the way up to the cap line because it could crease in front of it. That's always a risk, especially with a little bit longer toe cap. A little bit longer cap looks nicer, I think, overall. A little higher chance of getting that creasing in front of that uh, stitch line there. So this is just building a nice uh, base coat wax and then we'll use a cloth to really bring out a high shine. A little bit of a layer on the heel as well. Now on the heel I'm not going to shine it as much as I do the toe. So I'll probably do about a third as much work on the heel as I'll do on the toe. I like to add a little bit of shine there but you know, I, don't do, I don't go quite quite so much work on it. So we'll let this sit now for a little bit and then we'll come back at it with a cloth. I flipped these hand applied layers uh, kind of dry and firm up a little bit. Now I'm going to use a cloth uh, this was given to me by my friend Dornstar Shine. So if you don't know him, check him out on uh, on Instagram and on YouTube. He does amazing shines and restorations of shoes. So I'm gonna just dab, get a little bit, very little bit of wax on here. Get a single drop of water on here, and then we're gonna buff this. And this is going to be the process. You know, I'm going to get a little dab of wax, a little drop of water. Keep buffing until I get the uh, desired shine. And again, concentrating mostly on the toe. In fact, I'm going to kind of use that little ridge here as a guide and try to keep the shine primarily right around that and in front of that and it's going to taper off a little bit once we get behind there. I'm not going to mirror shine all the way to the back here. 
Now say I wear these a few times and discover that all the creasing is happening uh, well behind it, yeah, then I might uh, might increase the shine a little bit if I want to, but that's very optional. But I do like to have that real high uh, shine on just the toe tip for sure. Just putting the finishing touches on these. And a switch to uh, this high shine chamois from Hanger Project. Um, just because it is um, such a thin, uh, tight woven fabric and doesn't have any of the, the little hairs and things that you get from uh, some of the other cloths. So I kind of like this for the very last uh, touch. I don't like applying the base coats with it, but for this kind of final last touch on the high shine, I find that this does the, the best. Use that more flannel-like cloth to apply any more of the, the base layers and I get a pretty good shine with that. But I like this one in particular for this last little step here. up a lot less uh, wax on the surface of it too and it just really glides along the, the leather here so you can see that uh, that mirror shine there looking good so again that was all pure polish on these I think this shine turned out quite good and like I said, I don't add as much of a shine on the heel, but there's certainly a, a decent amount of shine to that. And I think uh, I did take a look at these in um, you know, outside light, and I could see a lot more of the museum finish to them. So it's just kind of this indoor lighting uh, where it looks a little bit more monochrome, but hopefully when I wear them, I plan to wear these tomorrow, hopefully when I wear them, um, I'll be able to see a little bit more of the color and get some shots uh, with them. Uh, but really thrilled with these. Thanks again to TLB Mallorca for making such amazing shoes. Uh, super impressed with everything I've gotten from them so far and I uh, look forward to working with them more in the future. Hope you enjoyed this video.